Hello everyone, so today I have a nice cosy March favourite selection. So these are the treasures from my previous month in March. <laughs> I go into the video I just want to talk a little bit about my personal situation so I am currently back in the UK now I had to leave Vietnam um, not really out of choice but more because of the current situation Coronavirus. with what's going on there's so much uncertainty I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get a flight back to the UK or what was going to happen with my visa situation in Vietnam what the kind of process was going to be basically I didn't want to get stranded there my partner's travel insurance company decided that they wouldn't cover any anyone if they got sick with coronavirus after the CDC has issued a level 3 warning. So we just made the decision to return to our home countries, which was tough, but here we are. So I am happy to be back with my family. It is really nice being back into my sort of childhood home with my mum and her two dogs. They are both really adorable. And yeah, it's just been pretty nice settling back into the groove here. What I've been up to recently has just been kind of decluttering my, my bedroom. I haven't lived here for a number of years, so it is quite odd being back um, in terms of, you know, just bits and pieces that you kind of accumulate over the years, things that you didn't really realise that you had. But anyway, that is not what today's video is about. I wanted to talk, as I say, about my absolute favourites of March. So I wanted to start with, obviously we have all been washing our hands like crazy right um we have basically been in this like weird cycle of hand washing and making sure that our hygiene is good standing two meters apart social distancing self-quarantining if we feel symptoms many people aren't going to work um and you know because of all of that we've all been washing our hands a lot and the thing that has been coming to my rescue this past month has been the nursum um, collection. Actually I have both the Caring Hand Fix and the Hand Cream. So the Caring Hand Fix is actually vegan, this one is just vegetarian, but they are both cruelty free. Um, I really like both of them, they are both fantastic. Nursum has been really great for just kind of using at night and healing the hands. It's very repairing and restorative, it's fantastic, it's very thick and almost like a balm, it's lovely. I'll just show you the texture of how sensational it is. Yeah, here you go. You really only do need a really tiny amount, so I haven't actually been using too much of this, which is really nice. I think it will last me a while. Just sheer butter, glycerin, we've got avocado oil, oat flour, you know, just all of the good stuff. We've got salicylic acid in here, which is also a BHA, which will help to promote cell renewal. It's lovely, it's been great. And then for the day to day, this is the product that I've been using more because I keep this in my handbag, which you may or may not have seen what's in my handbag video, but I will link that in the description if you want to have a little look see. Um, but yes, I've been using this again most days throughout the day. It's fantastic. So it is their hand cream. It you only really do need a very, very small amount. It is lovely. It smells just like grapefruit and orange and sort of delicious fresh fragrances. It does feel really good. This Again, the texture is amazing. When you actually put it on, I'll, I'll do a little bit for you here, but I won't use too much because I'm savouring it. Um, but yes, yeah, so you only need like a small amount anyway. It says to use a pea-sized amount, so this is a very, very tiny pea. <laughs> but yeah, it sinks right in. It's amazing because you don't actually really need to wait before you go about your day. It kind of just literally is drunk right up. See, like there's no residue on my hands. I could go ahead and you know grab my bottle, grab my phone. It's almost tacky in fact. It's it's fantastic. I really love it. Nursum are a UK based brand and for every product purchased they give a month supply to doctors, nurses, midwives just around the country so they are really supporting the NHS and obviously in this time it's something that we should definitely be doing so I will be definitely making a repurchase of these once I am running a little bit lower probably the hand cream first because I will be going through this a lot quicker than I do the hand fix. Another favourite of mine this month has been the Boho Cosmetics. They are a fantastic vegan and cruelty free brand. They make the most beautiful, beautiful products. So here I have the whipped body wash in date night. It actually looks pretty ugly right now because I have destroyed the swirl but it 
does look very beautiful in its original form. <laughs> um, as you can see the kind of like whipped and glittery texture just right here, it's lovely. So the smell of this is absolutely divine. It is a Bulgarian rose and salty plum. I think it just smells like fresh laundry and cakes, kind of all mixed together, it's lovely. My skin feels so unbearably soft with this, like it's almost too soft. You know when you're just like, wait a second, this is where I was feeling a little bit scaly, how can I possibly be so smooth? This is just lovely, I love it. You only need, again, like a small amount, you just scoop it up with your finger in the shower. Obviously try not to get this wet because you don't want to destroy it. Um, and it's definitely just been a product that I have been using day in, day out for the last couple of months and it's going really well, really enjoy it. So yeah, big shout out to Jackie. Thank you so much for making such beautiful products and so affordable too. I was actually really lucky enough to interview the founder of this brand. So I will leave the link in the description below. It is to my blog post where I chat with Jackie, the owner, and she basically just answers a couple of my questions and we talk about skincare and self-care and what goes into running a business and all of that stuff. I really want to try out so many of the other scents that Jackie has in her collection. They are amazing, I really enjoy them, they just feel great, so yeah. <sighs> Next I want to talk about some makeup stuff. So I'm not really a huge makeup wearer but I have to admit being confined at home um, not really being able to do anything because of the virus. I have been just kind of staying at home and every time I decide to film I'm like, ah, oh, better fix my face. <laughs> Which is probably a little bit weird but yeah, I've started like wearing makeup for videos. Um, I kind of want to film the next one with no makeup just so that I don't feel like I have to wear makeup, you know. It's not that I feel like I do but anyway, as a side note, just kind of rambling my own thoughts. Um, so I've been using the Clay uh, Essence Moonlighter Cushion. It is a fantastic, beautiful highlighter. I got this in a birch box like maybe two years ago and I didn't even get around to using it until very recently. So I've had this open for about... I don't know, a couple of months now, but it has been something that I absolutely love using. So it comes in a beautiful little compact like this, and you open it up, and you've got your cushion here, then you tap, and then it comes out. It just leaves the most subtle glow, so I've really got it on my face, so I don't know if this is going to make me overly highlighted or what, but it's beautiful. Um, it feels very nice on the skin. I think it gives a very sort of natural shimmery finish. It's lovely. This is in the apricot tinge. I am a big fan of liquid and creamy formulas so this is definitely up my alley. I really appreciate that. I think powders tend to make me look a little bit too um, artificial. So yeah this has definitely been a product that I have been using. I think it works really lovely in all kinds of like weathers. I've been using it in England. I've been using it when I was in Vietnam. When I'm wearing this I feel like the sun just hits me right on the perfect spot and it just it looks beautiful. Chef's kiss for sure. So while I'm on the kind of like makeup-y kick I thought I would share with you guys a brand that is quite new to me. I was sent these a little while ago. So these are some lip balms that I was sent by Halo is the New Black. So they are a cruelty free brand from Australia. So they are some, actually actually they're kind of like lip oils. They are really beautiful, really nice, really shimmery. Um, I will swatch these and I will show you guys what they look like. They all sm have a very similar scent and they're all very translucent. So they're not like the most pigment pigmented things ever. But I really like that anyway because I, I generally like on my sort of day to day I like a more subtle finish. So this one here is called Rose Gold. Then the middle one is here. Ta-da! Okay, and she is in coral. And then the final one is bronze, which is a more orangey kind of pigment. So yeah, they are really nice. What I love about these formulas is that they feel very light on the lips. They don't feel overly glossy and um, sticky or anything like that. They actually layer quite nicely with lipstick. What I will do actually is I currently have a lipstick on right now, but I will pop this on top so you can have a little look and see the kind of nice finish it gives. Beautiful, right? I really like them. They feel kind of almost slippery. It's like an oily sort of base. I really like the sort of sheer-ish pigments. I think they just complement 
different kinds of skin tones and faces really well so big fan i also gave one of these to a friend of mine and he really likes it he thinks that it's super cool i actually whipped it out in front of him and he was just totally impressed with the packaging which again i completely agree i think it's amazing so on the side we've got our little mirror here we can kind of you know apply it and see and then the piece de resistance my dears is that it has a little light in here so we've got a little led light so if you were to be like in the club or something which i never am but you know um yeah you have like the little light and you can kind of see like where you're applying and all that jazz and it's just really nice they are really awesome i think they're a great sort of little addition to your purse those are my lip gloss faves of this month my treasures of march and next i want to talk about a netflix show that i've been binge watching um so this past month I don't know if you're familiar with Love is Blind, but this is a hit Netflix show. So basically a bunch of strangers go into these pods, is what they're called. So they're in these pods, they can't see who they're talking to, they're in like two separate rooms, and people are there with the intention to date, with the intention to get married. So you are going into these pods and you are looking for a life partner, but the twist is, dun dun dun, you don't actually know what your partner looks like. So you only get to like vibe with them based on personality and that kind of stuff. So it's pretty intense. Some of the couples got like engaged after like three days, some of them like a week or something like that. And it's just, it's wild. Like it is an absolute shit show of a TV show, but it's fantastic. It's so tacky and cringy and I absolutely loved it. When I first saw it, I was like, mm, this is great. My friend recommended it to me because she was saying that there was a guy on there who got engaged to a woman and then she disclosed loads of credit card debt. And I was like, mm. Well, then it turns out it was all credit card debt to pay for makeup and I was like mm. and then it turns out she just wanted to be a housewife and I was like mm, this is so wild and then there was just this other woman who was feeding her dog wine and you're just like eh, what is going on you are feeding your dog wine you claim to love your dog why are you feeding it wine it's just a surreal show that all the people on there they are like real characters really bizarre um and it's fascinating i have to say it is so tacky so cringy but oh my god netflix knows how to create some gripping dramas i like binged watch the whole season in like less than a week for sure like a couple of days boom done um so yeah that was super fun and people are crazy tea okay so next up what i want to talk about um as my other march favorites is this so i've been using the <laughs> the base collective for a little while Ooh! so i've been using the base collective for a little while. i cannot compose myself i've been using this little magnesium spray by the base collective for a little while now i've had the plain one with no lavender scent and then this one here has got lavender scent so this one i've just been using for the past month it is magnesium chloride really great for muscle aches and whatnot the lavender smell is really nice i really appreciate the kind of i'll give it a shake the fine mist i don't know if you'll be able to see it but Ooh. yeah it's just like a really nice fine mist um you pop it on your body it really helps to soothe relax and kind of just decompress your body i have had quite sore back recently for like the last like month probably just because i've been like so inactive sitting inside um and not that i really go outside and do anything but just the option to do that has kind of been taken away so i've just been lounging on the sofa so much rather than sitting like on a proper chair and whatnot so yeah it's just been a bit um but yeah i found that this has really helped with my back pain and i also really enjoy it for just like soothing me before bed i find it very relaxing and the instructions on here do say to pop it on the soles of your feet before bed which can be relaxing i've done that a couple of times but i don't really want to waste it that much on my feet because they don't feel that achy so i've been saving it for my back and another tip as well if you do get menstrual cramps i find that this really really is just so nice like just kind of sprayed on your ab abdomen that teamed with a hot water bottle. Oh my god, it's good. All right, and another thing I wanted to quickly touch on is um, a Spotify favorite, I suppose. Um, I have been just in love with The Weeknd's new album. I really love all his sort of like, you know, albums. I love all of The Weeknd's music, but this new album is fantastic. I think he's really taken a new 
direction kind of like back to his old roots it's not as poppy as like Starboy and Beauty Behind the Madness but I really like that I think it's good that he's kind of gone back to that I think it's just a fantastic album so many good tracks I think the production is also top notch <sighs> He just gets the most like gritty and fucked up music, like the stories in there and, and whatnot that he tells, it's fantastic. He has the most beautiful voice, like it's just so beautiful. Um, and there's so many songs on the album that I really like. One of my favourites is Snow Child, I really like Blinding Lights, you know, one of the uh, poppy tunes of the album. I'm a real big fan of After Hours and Until I Bleed Out. Like the whole album literally just dropped like right at the end of March and I've been playing it non-stop. It's been like my quarantine music jam and love it big fan the whole album is amazing i think it's just so dark and sinister and yeah the weekend's just dropped a couple new songs uh as like the deluxe edition on the album um like i think yesterday so on the end the final day of march and i have been thoroughly just binging it as well like just they're always on repeat really love them if you haven't listened to the weekend then you know start with trilogy and then maybe you move on to this album that's basically it those are my favorites my beloved march treasures here they are um yeah if you've tried any of these brands do let me know i'm always curious to know if other people love what i love you know and what have you been enjoying this month let me know Alrighty, i'll see you guys next time adios